trip upon the bandwagon. It's a wild boys take a trip. Good morning, gentlemen. We have an audition with Mr. John Pilkington. We're the six Chitterbug boys. Oh, yes. Room 23, third floor. Mr. Pilkington's on his way now. That's ten bands Mr. Pilkington's got to hear this morning. Yes, isn't it a pity he hates music? <laughs> and take this note to the outside broadcast department. During the Derby commentary on National, I noticed that the word can't was used on three occasions. Kindly note that the word is cannot. <laughs> I can't think where these fellows are educated. Any more mail? Yes, Mr. Pilkington. He has a prepaid telegram from that Mr. Jack Hilton. No, what do you want this time? He still wants an audition, sir. But damn it, man, we've already told him he's got to wait his turn. There are 500 bands want auditions. Why should he have his before the others? Yes, sir. He says, as you can't give us an audition tomorrow, would you drop in and hear us at my Jack in the Box Roadhouse, which you pass on your way home? Infernal impudence. What shall I say in reply, sir? We're allowed nine words. Use only one. No. Mr. Pilkenden, what about giving me an audition with the microphone? How dare you let these people pester me like this? What? What the deuce is this? They appear to be combinations, sir. Well, where do they come from? Good heavens! Washing on the BBC. Who's responsible for this sacrilege? I've got no idea, sir. Find out. Go up there and report to me. Yes, sir. Find out who's using the top floor and tell them to meet me in my office. You should shut up when you're told. Come on, big, wake up. Mrs. Bagwash will be here soon to do for us. Come oh, on. Oh, half a minute. Let me finish my dream. Get up, you lazy little man. It's time to do our daily dozen. You do 24. I'm a bit tired. Yeah. Oh, stinky, you are unkind interrupting my lovely nightmare. Never mind your nightmare. Now, oh, do listen. It's ever so interesting. Well, what is it? Well, I dreamed I went to Wembley, and there were no dogs, and there wasn't any hair. No hair? No. And instead of the hair, they had my sweetheart, Norcia. Oh, she looked ever so pretty. And she was being chased by a lion. Well, go on. What happened? Well, that's just it. You woke me up, and now I shall never know whether the lion escaped or whether Norcia ate him. Ate the lion? Well, you know what an appetite she's got. Ooh, lummy. It's gone half past ten, and we missed the changing of the guard again. Oh, and I did so want to see the soldiers. Well, I don't know about you, but I want some breakfast. I wonder if Henrietta's laid us an egg this morning. Oh, it does seem a shame robbing Henrietta of her poor little leg. It's no robbery. She's finished with it. I say, Stinker. Oh, who used this razor last? I did last night. Well, you've done a fine thing. You've left it in reverse and it's pushing your whiskers back in my face. Don't be a silly little man. Come up on the roof and have your morning run. You know what Miss Stack said? You'll have to wait till I change. 